Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Trash Your Football. Today we're going to discuss rivalry games that I think should be renewed to a year-to-year -year basis. So I do want to say thank you to Jake45 for recommending this video idea on the Discord server. The link to the Discord server is in the description down below. So make sure you do join, give your ideas, you can talk to me, the mods, other fans and such in the server. And in my opinion, there is really no specific order as which ones should be renewed first. These are just some old rivalry games that I want to see be renewed slash be played every single year. So first, I want to start off with Florida and Miami. Now, Florida and Miami used to be one of the best rivalries in not only the state of Florida, the entire South, but the entire country. These two teams played all the way from 1944 until 1987 every single year annually. Then the teams didn't play each other until 2001 when it started to be played sporadically. The last time the Gators and the Hurricanes faced each other was the Camping World kickoff game in week zero of the 2019 season. where The number eight ranked Gators slid by the Miami Hurricanes 24 to 20. Although these two teams are set to have a home and home series set for 2024 and 2025. This rivalry game, in my opinion, should be played every year, as the three main teams in Florida are all rivals of each other. Florida, Florida State, Florida, Miami, Florida State, Miami. Why can't we complete the trifecta and have Florida and Miami play every year? So we can just truly find out who the true kings of the state of Florida are. Miami does currently hold a 29-27 and 27 record against the Gators. Up next, I have Kansas and Missouri, otherwise known as the Border War. Now, when I think about the Border War rivalry, I think back to the 2007 edition of this game. The number two Kansas Jayhawks and the number three Missouri Tigers. The winner would move on to the Big 12 championship to face off against Oklahoma. Championships were on the line for both teams, both conference and national. And what I'd call in both of their programs possible modern peaks. Missouri would end up winning that game and would move on to the Big 12 championship, but if you just think back to that game in Kansas City, I mean, it was I mean, it was peak Big 12 football right there, and this rivalry was very underrated. I mean, these two teams haven't played since 2011 due to Missouri leaving the Big 12 for the SEC. But Missouri did win 24 to 10 in that last game. Missouri does currently hold a 57-54-9 record against Kansas, winning the last three of the rivalry. These two teams are currently slated for a uh, two home-and-home -home series in 2025 and 26, and 2031 and 2032, which is a very long ways away. Up next, I have Pittsburgh and West Virginia, a.k.a. the Backyard Brawl. This is one of the most hate-fueled rivalries in college football. There's a reason as to why West Virginia sings along to Sweet Caroline as eat pit. While yes, these two teams have played the last two seasons with another game coming in this 2024 season. These two teams have been playing since 1895, which is a very long time ago. Pitt currently holds a 62-41-2 record in the rivalry where they played every year until 2011, where they took an 11-year hiatus with their eventual rematch in 2022, where Pitt won in Heinz Field. West Virginia has won the latest matchup in 2023. Let's see what happens in 2024, and let's see if they continue this rivalry from here on out. And up next, I have the Auburn Tigers and the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. In a rivalry game that hasn't been played since 2005, we have the Tigers and the Yellow Jackets. Now, the last time that these two guys played, well, two teams, was in 2005 where Georgia Tech did win 23-14. to And in 2003, the second to last time, Georgia Tech also won 17-3. to But if you want to go to the next latest game that these two teams played, you have to go back all the way to 1987 where Auburn beat Georgia Tech 20-10 in Atlanta. Auburn holds a 47-41-4 record against the Yellow Jackets, and there seems to be no hope for these two teams playing again in the future. 
Would you guys like to see these two teams renew their rivalry? Let me know in the comments down below, because this is one that I really want to see. This is a rivalry that was played when they were both in the SEC, and I, I'd, I'd really love to see this one renewed at least every other couple of years. And last but not least, I have the Michigan Wolverines and the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. These two teams started playing in 1887, where Michigan won 8 to nothing. Michigan does hold a record of 25-17-1 in this, quite frankly, small rivalry. But these teams did play every year from 2002 to 2014, where they stopped playing until a home-and-home -home series in 2018, where Notre Dame won. In, in 2019, where Michigan won on their respective campuses. These two teams are set to renew the rivalry in another home-and-home -home series in 2023 and 2024. Are... These two teams are set to renew uh, the rivalry in another home-and-home -home series in 2033 and 2034, which is the longest that I've seen of renewed rivalries trying to be set up in the future for home-and-homes. Which, I mean, is a long ways away to wait for this rivalry. I will be 30 by the time that these two teams play again. 30. I'm 20 now. That's how long it's going to be. Well, I'll turn 21 in uh, two months, but it is what it is. But I do want to know what you guys think in the comments down below. Let me know what rivalry games you'd like to see renewed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn the notifications bell on so you can be notified for future uploads. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys later. Before we do leave, I do want to shout out all the members of the Patreon real quick. Shane, Derek, Shuffler, Finesse God, Travis, Triple D Texas, Austin, JP Kook Fan, Bejasaurus, Anthony, Kick Pop Bear, Mester, Thomas Cool TV, Phantom Pain, Seth, MS Blank, Zerlak, Eric, Ty, Cruz, Zachary, Jasper, Matthew Blank, D. John and Buck Guy. Thank you to all members of the Patreon. The link is in the description down below. Thank you guys for subscribing to the Patreon and to the channel. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. And I'll see you guys later.